Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. SpaceX has been advancing the development of Starship, the largest ultra super heavy reusable launch system ever designed in history at a jaw-dropping pace, and CEO Elon Musk is comfortable it will reach orbit sometime next year. Musk made the comments, which often veered into the philosophical, at the National Academic's first virtual joint fall meeting of the Space Studies Board and the Board on Physics and Astronomy. The talk titled simply SpaceX Starship Discussion and subsequent Q&A session gave Musk the opportunity to respond to questions from Academy members on the next-gen system's technical and operational details. Musk is aiming for SpaceX to complete work on the launch pad and launch tower at Starbase, the company's sprawling facility in Boca Chica, Texas, later this month, with the first orbital launch test for January 2022. That would be followed by possibly a dozen additional launches, possibly more, throughout the rest of 2022, Musk said. That doesn't mean Starship will reach orbit in January, however. As Musk was careful to note, there's a lot of risks associated with this first launch, he said. So I would not say that it is likely to be successful, but I think we will make a lot of progress. The other major barrier to a January launch is regulatory approval. SpaceX's launch activities at Starbase are currently undergoing an environmental assessment with the Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA said earlier this week that it would wrap up the review by December 31st. So if all goes according to Musk's plans, a January launch is the earliest feasible date. At the moment, the launch of SpaceX's largest orbital vehicle is pending regulatory approval from the US Federal Aviation Administration, which is essentially an official license that grants SpaceX approval to launch the new vehicle. Musk took to Twitter on October 22nd and said, if all goes well, Starship will be ready for its first orbital launch attempt next month, pending regulatory approval. Patience and timing are the two things the public and SpaceX must now wait for as the space transportation company gears up for its biggest launch yet. SpaceX broke new ground with its Starship program when ship SN20 fired up on Friday. This was the first time more than three Raptors had been fired upon a Starship, along with the first time more than one RVAC had been ignited simultaneously. While the test schedule hasn't followed the highly ambitious timeline outlined at times by Elon Musk via various tweets, the progress of Starship continues to astound. Moreover, the vehicles are coming through the testing without the RUDs, rapid unplanned disassembly, of old, and appear to follow a successful design evolution, with more upgrades yet to come. Ship 20 is currently destined to fly on the test flight, although switching to Ship 21 remains a possibility. Regardless, 20 has already proven its worth via ground testing, with numerous milestones accomplished for the overall test program. Friday's milestone passed several objectives, with prop loading followed by an impressive pre-burner prior to a recycle and the first ever six-engine ignition of its full set of Raptors. Elon Musk soon confirmed the test involved all six engines. Only a handful of Ship 20's thermal protection system tiles were liberated during the test, which would have imparted more stress on their attachment points via the vehicle being held in place during a static fire test, in comparison to being released during launch. This too is a sign of progress and will continue to feed data into future vehicles. Road closures over the coming months, one of the official signs of upcoming testing, have been posted, leaving open the possibility that Ship 20 may yet conduct additional testing. The focus, however, will soon switch to Booster 4, which will require an even greater leap forward with static fire testing. Booster 4 sports 29 Raptor engines, with the possibility that a test of the full set of engines could occur by the end of the year. First, the Super Heavy rocket will need to return to the orbital launch site mount, as it did during the first ever full stack fit check. During that process, the two vehicles were lifted into place by the huge LR-11350 Frankencrane, which has since been dismantled and shipped away from Starbase. SpaceX's new crane, an LR-11000, with SpaceX branding and color scheme, has since arrived and been assembled at the launch site, while the previous LR-11000 Bucky has been transferred to the production site. 
The LR11000 is not tall enough to conduct the same stacking operation as the LR11350. Thus, stacking will likely be undertaken by the chopstick arms on the Mechazilla system, which is part of its designated role, along with catching boosters and ships upon their return. Testing on the chopsticks has been ongoing over recent weeks, although it is yet to move up and down the launch tower as required for stacking operations. Recent days have involved reeving the lines that will allow the chopsticks to move vertically on the tower, with testing of the system potentially set to occur this month. While stacking could be its debut role, it is not set to catch a booster until after the upcoming test flight, which will see both vehicles splash down away from the launch site. Booster 5 and Ship 21 are both in an advanced state of processing, with most of the current work being focused on the final TPS tile installation on Ship 21's nose cone. Additional boosters and ships are also being prepared, with Ship 22 and Ship 23 sections in various stages of processing. The boosters are also lining up with sleeving of Booster 6's forward domes recently completed, even amid the potential sum of the upcoming boosters aren't for flight as SpaceX modifies their vehicles based on the early test campaigns. To cater to all these new vehicles, SpaceX is already building a new wide bay set to be twice the width of the current high bay. The since-transported LR11000 Bucky is now conducting its new role with the assembly of this new facility, which is already quickly rising out of the ground. Although SpaceX's mandate is to return boosters and ships and their Raptor engines for reuse, some vehicles are likely to be lost during the test program phase, in addition to a large stock of units being required for the initial family of vehicles. Elon Musk has already confirmed the 29 engines on the Super Heavy booster will evolve to 33 in a short time. Raptors have been rolling into the production site on an almost daily basis. The engines, which have been upgraded over time, are currently built at SpaceX's main factory in Hawthorne, California, then transported to McGregor for testing. In addition, flight units meant for the Starship program are currently tested at McGregor before being driven to the Starbase launch facility while Hawthorne will continue to build the RVAC engines. In tandem with working on Raptor Evolution designs, McGregor will soon become the hub for Raptor 2 production. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.